Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. In today's tutorial, we're going to talk about a Waves plugin called the Pads Position. Uh, and basically, go into my audio effects. I'm going to open it up for you guys, show you guys uh, how the plugin looks, show you guys a little bit around it, what kind of options it has to offer. Um, <clears throat> basically, get you guys a little bit more familiar with the, the plugin. That's our goal here. And uh, uh, please keep in mind that you do have to have certain Waves bundles in order to open some of these plugins that I am showing you guys. But for right now, we're going to go inside and we're going to open it up and see how it looks. Uh, we're going to go to audio effects, down to audio units, down to waves. I'm going to go down to pass position. We're going to open it up. It's going to look a little something like this. Now, this basically works the same as the as the pass analyzer. The pass analyzer is the all uh, elite uh, version of the pass plugins. It gives you the pass position and the and the the pass uh, the pass frequency uh, and pass meter all in one. Uh, so if you guys are going to get any of those, get the pass analyzer. It's so probably a little bit more expensive, but it does uh, everything for you. Um, what this basically does is it shows you the position of, of the audio track that you're playing. You know, if you're panned left or right, it'll show you where the where the where the audio is coming out from. It basically just shows you a, a graph of of the sound waves and giving you a response of of uh, the position that they're in. Uh, that's basically it. There's a little bit of uh, options here that you guys can press um, uh, to help you. Uh, understand the plugin a little bit more but I say you guys go and toss it on a track and watch how it works and see how you guys uh, uh, can benefit from this this is basically is the past position I uh, hope you guys learned something new and thank you guys for watching my video please subscribe